I've said this before and I'm about to say it again and I hope that maybe the developers are kind of checking out the people who are covering this game My Hero Ultra Rumble because I know a lot of us have complaints about the way the game is going and we want the game to do well and I really personally want the game to do well because I have been enjoying it so much. The gameplay itself is phenomenal. But there have been a lot of comments in my videos and I've seen you guys posting like, oh, you're not able to join a game or various other bugs and just issues with the game that need to be fixed. So we're going to address most of those bugs here. I think I got all of them written down there. There's quite a few bugs. There's quite a few things that just are going on with the game that people don't like. I don't personally like I've experienced a lot of the bugs. So I want to talk about what those are and how potentially we could fix them. So the very first thing that I want to talk about is the shield and health glitch. So if you've ever been playing a game of My Hero Ultra Rumble, it doesn't happen too, too often, but it still happens enough that it's it's an issue, right? And that is where you will get to this point in the game where you are no longer able to use shield pots, you are no longer able to use health pots, and you're just stuck there with an inventory full of things, unable to use them. Getting down doesn't fix it. Like I've tried getting downed before and then getting back up to see if now I'm able to use the stuff my inventory that doesn't fix it and it's just a big pain in the butt so you end up dropping all your stuff for your allies to use and then your only saving grace at that point if you make it to that point is to use a plus ultra to give yourself a shield and that's about all you can do i it really really sucks so that is something i hope they address i don't know exactly why it occurs if you know exactly why that occurs let us know down in the comments maybe we can avoid it if you know a way to fix it let us know in the comments as well uh, i don't know the fixes for everything obviously so let us know in the comments if you have a way to fix it it's dumb though that we have to find a way to fix it though is the thing it's something the developers should be working on it shouldn't it, it's a finished game right this is not beta so it's not something that should be a consistent issue so i would be honest Honestly, very very happy if the developers didn't even worry about new content and they just focused on fixing their UI and fixing the bugs I'm about to talk about because if they polished the game made it look nice oh my goodness this has so much potential this game has literally tons of potential but then again it is a Bandai game and that's what makes me nervous I don't want Bandai to neglect their game uh, like they do tend to do with other games so hopefully 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 they are on top of patching stuff and i have a lot of hope for this because they did do the nerfs to bakugo they did the nerfs to the projectile heroes right it didn't take them out of like the top tier of gameplay but it helped a lot so it, it that just proves they were listening to us so hopefully they'll listen to us about these bugs i know not all bug fixes are simple right so give them some time i know on twitter they have posted that like the bug with not being able to join a game they supposedly fixed but i have still seen comments of people not being able to join games so uh that one in particular how do you fix that i have heard that like disbanding the party and then just keep rejoining until it eventually gives you partners that you'll be able to get into a game with uh restarting the game restarting the system just you know try the normal stuff that you would try and eventually some people have found success with that uh hopefully that's not the case anymore realistically because they said they fixed it but i've still seen comments saying it's not fixed so i i don't know where that's at exactly but yeah that is a major major issue for my hero ultra rumble that that is that alone could kill the game because people just aren't able to play it and it's really really bad here on pc where i normally play i haven't experienced that as much i have heard it's happening on pc i maybe it hasn't happened to me because i'm not queuing up with randoms as much i i don't know exactly why it happens i don't know if anybody knows exactly why it happens but hopefully uh that is fixed or will be fully fixed here coming up shortly the next thing i want to talk about is voice chat voice chat two things with this uh there is a glitch where you can sometimes just not hear your teammates and they have to leave the party and rejoin sometimes they have to restart their game which sucks and then the other part of voice chat is like you'll have somebody join your party and then leave the party and they're still in the game right but you can hear them even though you're not in your party like they're not in your party anymore it, it's it's really really weird and the other thing this isn't a glitch but with voice chat add push to talk for the love of Christ, people will love push to talk. So add it's, it's such a simple thing to add into the game. You can definitely tell this game was designed for console and not PC though. But I know a lot of people would love to have push to talk for uh, that voice glitch for voice chat. And so, I mean, that's just stuff for voice chat that I would like to see if they could add it into the game. The next thing is another glitch that has appeared in the game besides the shielding and the health pots not being able to use them. And this is a massive one as well. And that is your ability to revive your teammates. Normally, normally I would say like nine games out of 10, 
it works correctly. But then you get that 10th game where maybe you're in ranked, which is terrible when this happens, right? And your teammates go down. You have the revive tickets, but it shows your teammates tokens here in the middle of the map, right? And you can't do anything because they're not actually there. If they were actually there, I don't care if they're in the middle of the map. That's fine. If I have to run there because that's the glitch, that's fine. I'll, I'll run there. I'll get them whatever. The problem is it shows them there, but they're not there at all. You have no chance to revive your teammates and you're just stuck. And that really, really sucks. So that is a glitch that's been ongoing like since day one. I don't think they fixed it up to this point. I have still encountered it even in my most recent games. So hopefully they get on that and they fix that because that is honestly really really annoying additionally on top of that we have the issue with people leaving when they get down right and so when they leave when they get down why do they do this why do people leave when they get down well they don't want to give you the shield that you get for finishing the ko or killing somebody off right so they leave the game and this I would argue is a competitive disadvantage on both sides because it's preventing the person who did the killing from getting the shield. It's also hurting your teammates who you're leaving behind, especially if you're doing this in ranked, which believe it or not, people do it in ranked. So that's actually terrible. Not to mention like another issue is just there's a tons of hackers, especially on PC. Uh, they need some like anti-hacker software, anti-cheater software. Now this is Bandai though. This is their first attempt at a game like this. This is the first attempt anyone's really done at a battle royale like this. So maybe they will get that in place eventually, but I don't see it happening anytime soon, but that would be awesome if that was something that they can make happen. You know, but I'm sure they'll be working on other things that we want, like crossover, which they've already confirmed, uh, or crossplay, which they've already confirmed first. But hopefully that will be the case. Uh, additionally, we need to fix ranked. There, so I love the way the rank system works. I love the idea behind it. I love that you don't really have placements and that anyone can potentially climb. I like the idea that you can help civilians to raise your rank. You can uh, do damage to raise your rank. And it doesn't matter if you come in first in the battle royale, you still feel like you're rewarded for playing, which is amazing. But here's the biggest problem. And I guess it's not even just in ranked. It's, it's in casuals too. Uh, and that is that the KO itself is worth more than the down. And so you will have these players, especially like suit players, who just run around the map, finishing off random people that other teams killed. Or you will be stealing kills from your teammates or you'll queue up with randoms and they'll steal kills from you. And you don't get credit and you don't get as many points. And so it's just a race to see who gets the most kills. So what they need to do is they need to, it's a very simple change, change the system to where whoever downs the enemy, no matter who finishes them off, that person who downed the enemy gets the points. It's really, really simple. And that's something they could be doing right now to fix rank. Ranked would be amazing. Ranked would be awesome. And you wouldn't see like Kendo's picking up their teammates and throwing them away anymore so they can finish the kills. Or, uh, you know, it's, or Ida's kicking uh, people away so they can finish the kills. You know, there's, there's plenty of ways to secure a kill so that your teammates can't have it and so that other teams can't have it. So I think that's what they, they should be working on to fix rank. That would help a lot. There is just so many like glaring issues besides that with the UI, people not being able to leave teams correctly, not people not being able to uh, change their menus correctly. It is a little bit hard to find things at times, like when you want to find how to add emblems to your banner and things like that. I would say their UI is not the simplest, not the most friendly. So I feel like they need to potentially simplify their UI menu or put things more front and center that makes it a little bit easier for people to find. I don't think the UI is terrible. Once you get a grasp of it, it's not too, too bad, but there are some things they could be doing better with the UI. So there's just a ton of things that could be done to fix the game and make it better. And honestly, like I was saying before, I'm gonna repeat myself. If they just fix these things, make the game better. I don't care who's coming out next. I don't care if I was next. I mean, I do care because that's hype, but I don't care if you guys add new maps in right this second, because the game has just launched. Yes, we want new maps, but I want this game to be polished. I want it to feel perfect to play. Like the gameplay itself is so much fun. They have honestly a gem. It's a really, really good game, but they need to polish it. They need to polish it so badly. And if they just do that, then they can get to releasing all the new content that we want 
and the game will be perfect and such a great state and I think it will do really, really well. But that's just me. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I am trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year and I need your guys' help. Thank you so much for all the support I've gotten from everyone so far. And thank you for everything that you guys do for me and for the channel. Please leave some comments on your thoughts on this. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. Maybe.